rap attack. The system designed to put firefighters and equipment into remote areas by controlled rope descent from a helicopter. Time is a key factor in initial fire attack. Every minute counts. And in remote areas, getting the suppression crew and the equipment to the fire by conventional means can eat up time and tire out the crew. During that time delay, we risk the possibility that the fire may be too large to be handled by the time the small initial attack crew arrives. Statistics prove out the policy of spending more money on quick initial attack, cutting down the risk of having a large, expensive fire to fight. To obtain maximum benefit from a RAP attack program, a careful planning process must be initiated early in the year. To allow time for crew recruitment and training to take place before the fire season begins. Budgets must be planned to cover the wages, equipment, facilities and helicopter time. The rep attack training process has several phases. First, course content and training aids must be planned and developed beforehand. Formal training begins in the classrooms with an introduction to the principles of rappelling from helicopters. Safety concerns are introduced and drilled during the 15 hours in the classroom, along with principles and procedures of initial attack firefighting. Practical instruction begins with demonstrations of rappelling equipment and their functions. Attitude and attentiveness are monitored carefully by the instructors, and students failing to respond are dismissed from the program. Procedures are repeated by the trainee until each one's performance is flawless. This training tower is used to build experience and confidence. Under the guidance of the instructor, the rappeller works his way up the three stages of the tower. Controlled descents are practiced until all aspects are familiar and the crew is confident with the system. The last stage of training is when the crewman does his first live rappels from a helicopter. During this phase, the basic steps are practiced over and over until each crewman is certified as competent and safe in all aspects of the operation. Let's look at an example of a rap attack crew in action. When the fire signal sounds, the crew go directly to the rappel locker and suit up. All their equipment is laid out ready to go to avoid delays. Crewmen check the condition of equipment and safety checks are done. The spotter heads for the chopper with his communications helmet, rappelling rope and kit. While the crew brings the cargo bag which contains the tools and supplies needed at the fire site. The spotter hooks the cargo bag to the helicopter's cargo hook and uses breakaway tape to attach the transfer lanyard to a spot by the rear door. Prior to boarding, the crew adjust their harnesses for rappel and take up their pre-entry positions. The spotter performs his safety checks, which ensure each crewman is correctly suited up in his fire-resistant jumpsuit and harness, and that he has his helmet, belt, first aid kit, knife, and other essential equipment. The spotter now places the Sky Genies on the rappel rope with the crewman double checking that the required two and one half wraps are made on the shaft. Properly mounted, the Genie will show two wraps through the cover slot with the rope entering on the top right and exiting on the bottom left. The crew now board and seat belts are fastened. The outside crewman places his hand over the breakaway tape to help avoid inadvertent disconnect of the transfer lanyard. Upon arrival at the fire site, the spotter guides the pilot to a safe letdown site. He looks for a location where he will be able to see the rope all the way to the ground and not too close to snags or the fire. The spotter drops the rope and conducts his final safety checks. Upon signal, the first repeller undoes his seatbelt and exits the helicopter, 
by pivoting his body and placing his right foot on the skid, keeping his torso inside to avoid undesirable changes in the aircraft's center of gravity. When his full weight is on the rope, the spotter signals and the rappeller unlocks the Sky Genie. Care is taken to guide the genie past the door and the fuselage of the helicopter. Once clear, he begins a quick but smooth descent while the spotter directs the pilot to keep the aircraft in position. When he is on the ground and safely disconnected, the second rappeller makes his descent. By using the control position, a smooth, safe descent is possible without causing the helicopter to drift off target. To lower the cargo, the spotter disconnects the breakaway tape and attaches the lanyard to another Sky Genie. Upon signal, the pilot releases the cargo hook and the cargo descends on the rope. With its speed controlled by tension applied to the rope by the ground crew. Repelling equipment is removed and the crew moves in to attack the fire. Hot spots are located and the area of greatest potential spread is cut off as quickly as possible. Hand guard is built around the fire to contain it before the mop-up stage commences. After each rap attack operation, a post-mortem discussion is undertaken to sort out any safety or efficiency concerns. Safety factors are always reviewed and given top priority. And continuing physical fitness programs keep crew members in good condition to allow maximum energy output while fighting fires. Thus, the Rap Attack crew is a trained, mobile firefighting tool that can be quickly transferred to areas experiencing extraordinary initial attack problems. The Rap Attack crews have proven a safe, effective force that reduce overall fire control costs and wildfire damage.